Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video on my channel. Today guys, I'm bringing you guys my first ever unboxing slash review. Today guys, we're going to be unboxing the Gamerverse Spider-Man Miles Morales PS5 game Camouflage slash Stealth Miles Morales. Now, this figure is in fact sharing the exact same body as the new Miles Morales Gamerverse figure. And uh, this is just the camouflage version, which I haven't seen actually in too many stores. I was very lucky to pick this up in my local comic shop. Um, and I'm really excited to see what he looks like out of the box. I've had him for a few days now and I've just not really been able to get round to actually um, just, you know, unboxing him. So I'm going to unbox him for you guys. And yeah, just to give you guys a sort of 360 degree look at the package. As you can see, you've got a nice... A uh, picture of Miles in his camouflage look in way, I guess. Sorry, you guys, I just knocked the tripod. Um, and as you can see, it says Marvel Legends series Miles Morales. Forging his own path, Miles Morales discovers <coughs> explosive new powers, which is pretty cool. Then you got another picture of Miles in his camouflage sort of stealth look. And then we get a nice view of the front of the figure. And as you can see, I got this guy for £25, which... Maybe a bit more expensive, but I don't even really know. I've not seen this guy in many places. So, yeah, I'm just going to take my knife and I'm going to try and open this without damaging the box. Um, I find Marvel Legends packaging to be a real pain to open because the sellotape that they use is like, it's really weak, I find. So, yeah. But the best way for me to open Marvel Legends is to stretch this out so this doesn't rip, fold this down, and slip the tray out, just like so. I'm gonna move this knife out of the way as well so I don't injure myself, because uh, that'd be awful. So, I mean, this looks pretty cool already, I can't lie, I'm very excited to see what this looks like. So I think what I'm gonna do is peel off the individual bits of tape that are on here right now. Uh, but they obviously aren't going to make it easy. Uh, right, there we go. I hate the tape they use. Do you guys remember the drawstrings they had to, like, cut off? And nobody could ever do them, so they'd just get their mum and dad to do it. Oh, that was great. Those were the days... Those are the golden days of Toy Biz and I guess the early days of Hasbro. Oh dear, I just dropped both of those hands. We will get into accessories in a minute, don't worry guys. I've done a lot with this guy, which is awesome. I love the interchangeable options. Hasbro, I think, are doing a fantastic job with that as a whole. So we're just going to move the packaging out of the way. I do keep the packaging as well, so don't worry. Okay. Going to get the figure out. Stand him up right here for now. If he will stand, I don't even know. He's probably going to fall. I'm going to lay him down. Okay. Wow. This looks awesome, <laughs> I can't lie. This is really cool. This is a really cool Miles Morales game of a figure, I guess. This is really nice, I kind of like this. I dig this a lot. This is awesome, this is really awesome. Uh, his feet are not so awesome, however. They are quite difficult to work around but there, there we go it's just got to sort of work the joints in a little bit to get it working in the right way i will be picking up the regular miles morales release don't worry guys so yeah but we have him out the packaging as you can see which looks incredible he's very blue uh giving off this very stealthy kind of look so these are the interchangeable hands we get so as you can see we get a pair of wall crawling hands which share the same stealth camouflage attributes across the entirety of the body which looks incredible 
We also get some thwipping hands, which is super dope, as we can see. Some thwipping hands, which look really nice. And then we get his awesome stinger hands, which look insane. The, the I'm definitely going to be posing this guy with these stinger hands. The level of detail on these is insanely cool. Um, super, super dope. So... I'm definitely going to be posing this guy with his stinger hands for sure. So now we've got accessories out of the way. Don't worry, we will put the accessories on. I'll swap them over. Let's get into the figure. So as you can see, looking at the figure close up, we have this really nice, like, sort of, not see-through, but pearlescent blue uh, plastic that has a sort of vibrance to it from the inside, which gives off a really nice stealthy camouflage look if you guys have played the ps5 slash ps4 game you know exactly what miles looks like in his camouflage way but there's individual texturing in the suit you can see on the mask those little texture lines there look really really good i'm really happy with how the face of the mask looks those eyes just look incredible Obviously, with the paint apps and the textures following throughout the figure, it's really good. Follows all the way up, but unfortunately, the spider does cut off right there, which is kind of a shame, but yeah, it's Hasbro. But as you can see, the texture just follows throughout the entire suit. It really looks incredible. And yeah, so articulation, he has a full 360 degree head rotation. He looks up that far, which isn't too much, he looks down that far, which is a decent amount of range. He does have an awesome head pivot, as we can see. He can pivot that much, which is really good. So he can pivot a lot, which is great. His shoulder comes out that far, which isn't too much. He does also have a butterfly joint up here. He has got a upper bicep rotation. He has a double jointed shoulder, as you can see, and he does have wrist rotation and it can pivot up and down. Same thing for the other arm. He has an ab crunch that allows him to crunch that forward and allows him to crunch that far back, which is pretty good range. Um, most Marvel Legends are very good for that. He does also have a waist swivel. He can kick up that far. He can kick back that far. He does have an upper thigh rotation. He also has got very stiff, very stiff. Holy cow. That's kind of scary how stiff that is. He has a very stiff double jointed knee, which is incredibly scary. That was very stiff, but he has a very stiff double jointed knee. Um, blimey, that is really, really scary to do. He has no boot rotation, but he does have a rocker at the bottom of his foot and he does have ankle pivot which is really nice and yeah sort of what you need on marvel legends nowadays for sure so yeah this is an awesome figure i really really like this i cannot wait to get the regular release one because the regular release one looks so nice uh the paint on that figure looks incredible too so let's take a look at some of these interchangeable accessories they pop off pretty easy for the most part i want to put on these stinger hands because that is definitely what i'm going to be displaying this guy with i have to say that looks insanely cool wow this looks really nice i really like the look of this whoa that looks so sick on the figure i i can't lie that that just looks that looks badass Oh my gosh, that just looks so cool. I really like the look of that. That looks so nice. That's awesome. He looks insanely cool. I'm going to try and see what pose I can get him in. Probably nothing insane, but um, I'll get him in a little something for you guys. That is just insane. That looks so sick. I love the look of this. This just looks incredible. Hopefully you guys think this looks just as cool as I do because I really like the look of this figure. This figure looks so sick. Um, definitely one I would pick up for your collection uh, indeed because this one is definitely one you're not going to want to miss out on. 
Um, and obviously that regular release as well is definitely going to be something to pick up when he hits shores, when he hits store shelves, sorry. So yeah, there he is guys. The Marvel Legends Stealth Miles Morales figure. Looking insanely badass. I love the look of this guy. He looks so sick. And I'm just going to give you guys a quick comparison next to my other Spider-Man PS4 figure I have. Which, unfortunately, is not a Marvel Legends release. But it is the Game of Us um, Marvel Select Spider-Man PS4 figure. Which is an incredible, incredible advanced suit figure. This is some of Marvel Select's best work, in my opinion. Um, really like the look of the Marvel Select version a lot. And I think they scale well, pretty well together. A little bit better than the Marvel Legends one will anyway. Uh, so yeah. There they are, guys. The, the Spider Bros from the game. Which is awesome. They look so cool together. And I love these guys. They look awesome together. So yeah. Um... Hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, please make sure you leave a like, subscribe for more. Uh, I'd really appreciate it a lot. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, make sure to check out my other reviews. And yeah, see you guys on the next video, um, I guess. Take care.